Okay, we're um, back on the B50. She's uh, been out for a few rides. She's running quite nicely, but I do have a few issues that uh, need to be addressed. First one, a bit of a disappointment after paying what I thought was the right stuff. This enamel supposed to be fuel and um, oil safe. I filled up with this new E10 bloody fuel uh, last week and where I've spilt there's some slight discoloration on the paintwork on the tank so uh, whether it is the 10% ethanol or whatever I've never had I've used this paint before on the Tiger Cub and the C15 when we did the tanks on those but no issues so um, I'll have to blow this in again round the top and uh, I've now bought some auto extreme petrol resistant lacquer so I'll be blowing it over after I've touched the paintwork back in with this stuff hopefully that'll fix that regarding the running of the bike it does run very well and it's very powerful um, after riding the C15T you jump on this thing and uh, it just wants to go and it's virtually impossible to stall even with my stupid riding it is nice but she's not ticking over very well it's got a uh, got a an Amal Premier fitted to her and um, it comes even though it's supposed to be set up for the engine I can't seem to get the um, the air screw mixture right on the idle so um, after a little bit more investigation I pull the pilot jet out and it has two bands on it which makes it a 17 I don't know what it is in thous for the hole that's drilled down the centre of it but uh, it says like it's for 250 to 350 cc's well obviously a B50 is 500 so I've treated myself to a three band which is supposed to be a 19 uh, mixture, mixture screw so that one's going to go in we'll have a play around with the uh, idle and see how we go with that and one final thing even though I've now got used to starting it and 10 to 1 500cc with new rings etc it's uh, got a hell of a compression on it and even if you do your very best with the decompress decompressor I still find it difficult to banter over you know to get us started so after watching Mike Waller's video Britannia Motors the last project he did the B50 he fitted this uh, shim beneath the barrel and um, according to calculations if you use a two mil thick shim it should knock the compression ratio down to about eight and a half from ten to one to about eight and a half to one and it's supposed to give it a little bit more sweeter slow running a little bit more gentler uh, idling and stuff like that so I'm gonna go for this so I don't intend taking the engine out so the tank's got to come off anyway because I've got to retreat the paintwork and I'm going to take the rear engine plates out, undo the mounting bolt, and I think I should be able to rock the engine back and tilt it out this way enough to get the, the head and the barrel off. We'll see how we go. So there are the few bits that I'm going to be working on while the weather is so fantastic, ideal for uh, doing the paintwork. I mean, down here in Cornwall, this week we've had temperatures of around 28 to 29 degrees it hasn't rained for about two weeks so very little humidity so I should get hoping to get a nice finish with this uh, with this petrol resistant lacquer anyway paint work first and then we'll have a go at lifting the engine tilting her back and rocking her in the frame without removing it. Let's see how we go.